Armored Core Lore, Jinobi, the number one raven of the Raven's Ark, and it would seem a low supporter of Crest Industries. This is Jinobi. Like many ravens, his past is one that has not been documented. This raven's age is even unknown. However, what is clear is the skill Jinobi possesses as a pilot. In truth, most of what is known about Jinobi is what is seen in the events of Armored Core Nexus. He is, by all accounts, the best. A raven who has shown what it means to stand above all other ravens within the Raven's Ark. However, Jinobi himself as a person may be more than meets the eye, as we know thanks to the mission Special Forces Removal. It's here the Raven of Nexus can get two views of Jinobi. One is a raven who comes in to make sure no foes escapes, as he shoots an MT from atop a building before jumping down and blading the last remaining one. He looks back at the Nexus Raven and then leaves. The other view the Raven can have of this number one Raven is Rescuer, as should the Raven of Nexus Armored Core be damaged heavily by the MTs, they will surround the Raven looking to finish them off, only then for the Jinobi to jump in, blading one of the MTs before turning around to fire off four shots to down the last MT. The number one Raven then leaves. Why was he here? Did Navis hire Jinobi as backup, or was this a case of Crest looking out for a future asset? Either way, this does show that unlike other ravens, Shinobi did not let the Raven of Nexus die here, he jumped in. It would have been easier to let the Raven of Nexus die there, and then finish off the foes. However, perhaps Joby could not let a fellow raven die, or maybe he was just told to make sure it looked like the Raven of Nexus had done the job. While this may show a human side of Jinobi, it's later on the Raven of Nexus would be put up against a Crest Armored Core in the new arena, so Crest could see how well this raven fared. This Crest Raven turns out to be Jinobi, however it's his voice that made people wonder, as it sounds very robotic, and as the Raven fights, it becomes clear, Jinobi does not have to kneel to use his back weapons, a trait shared with Ravens who use OP Intensify back in the controller years. Losing here will show nothing, however should the Raven and X be able to defeat Jinobi, this is when this well-known line is heard. It was just a simple adjustment, what happened? Jinobi, the corporation needs you in one piece. Don't overextend yourself. It was just a simple adjustment. What happened? It's this line, along with Jinobi's human plus like abilities, that have brought out the question of what Cress was doing to pilots behind the scene. Was Cress enhancing their pilots? And if so, how come Jinobi, a mercenary meant not to show any loyalty to any corporation, became tangled up in this? Sadly, Jinobi's loyalty to Crest is a topic which brings only more questions than answers. As for all we know, the mercenary believed in Crest. On the other hand, maybe he owed them for making him what he is. An enhanced armored core pilot who rose to its highest ranks and still able to get what he needed from Crest. Again, Jinobi's life as a raven is one filled with questions, and sadly offers little answers to any. As time would go on for Jinobi, with the events of armored core Nexus rolling on. He would not be seen again until near the end of the Crest's withdrawal from Navis territory, after being marked as one of the rebels who ignored Crest headquarters' retreat order. The Raven of Nexus would face Jinobi one last time in a war-torn Bayload city. It's here Jinobi speaks about how the relics of the past will never bring mankind prosperity, and how human arrogance will eventually usher in our downfall. It's from this, and looking at Jinobi's record to see the Raven has worked for Navis, it's possible then that this Raven knew about the unknown weapons, which Navis labelled as a new resource. Perhaps he had been hired as a guard to watch over Navis workers, or even battle against some of these unknown weapons. This is, however, only a guess, a speculation, if you will, of what this Raven saw with his two own eyes. Why maybe he turned against Crest, as perhaps he knew that if anyone got to these new resources, it would be the downfall of humanity. After all, every corporation seeks power, and with Mirage, the power-hungry corporation getting closer and closer to these weapons, maybe Jinobi saw this betrayal as the only way to stop them. But there is a side for a moment. In this final battle between the Raven of Nexus and Jinobi, the former Crest Raven outcome has two accounts. One will see this being the death of Jinobi by the hands of the Raven of Nexus, and the second will see Jinobi flee after he defeats the Raven of Nexus and disappear from public view. Either one sees the end of Jinobi the Raven in this timeline. However, before I move on to talk about Jinobi's craft, it should be noted that one in-house Crest Armored Corps, Agiria, would apologize to Jinobi should she die at the hands of the Raven of Nexus. It's a small line that has many wonder, was these the words of a dying Raven to a friend, or was it something more? 
Still, to end this short report on Raven's Ark's top raven, let us take a look at Jewel Face, the craft of Jinobi which allowed him to stand at the top of all ravens, and would later be used by a pilot of less skill, sullying the craft and leading to that raven's death by the hands of another. It is a black brownish coloured middleweight bipedal armoured core made exclusively with crest parts. These include the CR-H97XSI head part, the CR-C90U3 core part, the CR-A71S2 arm part, the CR-LH9F legs, the CR-BA3TP booster, the CR-F82D2 FCS, the CRG84P generator, and the GRR92 radiator. It is also equipped with the CRWE76RA Crest Rapid Fire Rifle, the CRWL88L B3 Laser Blade, two CRWB78GL Back Mounted Grenade Launchers, and a CRWH98GL Grenade Rifle Hanger Weapon for the right arm giving this armoured core enough firepower to blow apart any foe. However, what about if another raven other than Jinobi stepped into this craft? In truth, without OP intensifier enhancements, another raven might find it hard to perform the same as Jinobi, since his enhancement allowed him to fire his back-mounted weapons without kneeling. A raven without this will see themselves kneeling a lot more, and coming to a dead stop to fire off the grenade launchers Jewel Face has. Never mind the fact Jewel Face is overweight, forcing it to walk slowly, Boosting does little to improve its speed, and, well to be honest, taking Jewel Face into a battle would be more a pain than a joy to use without OP Intensify. It is not a shining recommendation, and if a Raven is to use Jewel Face, they may wish to consider removing one of the grenade cannons, the extensions, the inside parts, and even the hangar part to allow Jewel Face not to be overweight, allowing the Raven to use it without having to feel the sting of an overweight craft. So it is with this we end the report on the raven known as Jinobi and his craft Jewel Face.